Hey guys, it's Gonzalo Tilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you a video on AR Foundation and how to use reference points with feature points so that you can place basically 3D items around your area. So what I want to show you is by the end of the video is have a prototype in place that you can run on your own. And also this information and anything that we're doing right now is going to be included in GitHub. So make sure that you check out my GitHub account. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today, which is going to be to use feature points to add reference points and also a way to add reference points that are far, at least at a specific distance from the camera. So on this video, I'm showing you that I um, basically have feature points, which are the plus symbols, and then I'm basically adding the spheres around. And for some reason, the video is not good quality because it just keeps pausing, but you can see that by just looking at some of these ones that have feature points that are far away, I have some feature points here, and I'm basically selecting those feature points to be able to add the spheres. In this other video, I am basically walking around and I'm just basically pressing the, the screen. And what it's doing is adding, adding those spheres at a specific distance from the camera. And that's another way to add anchors. What's anchors are called in AR Core and AR Foundation just in AR Kit uses it, names it reference points. So how can we do that and how can we modify what I already have in order for, to achieve that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have two new scenes. One is gonna be called uh, reference points for items. This is gonna be the one that we already had that uses planes. So this one is going to be called with feature points. And then on this one, there's also not gonna be too many changes. We're just gonna have to create a new a new script. I'm also going to need to change this and this is not going to use the plane manager anymore. So I'm just going to double click on the reference point. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to clone this one. And this one is just going to call, we can just call it with feature points. Awesome. And then this is not going to need, the new one is not going to need an airplane manager. So we're going to have to change that. So it's going to be with feature points. And instead of using the AR Play Manager, I'm going to use the AR feature. It's actually called AR Cloud Point Manager. Feature points means that the points that are getting detected in AR are going to be the points where we're going to be targeting the AR models. Okay, so now that we have this AR, I'm going to have to change that as well in here. So it's going to be the AR Point Cloud Manager. I'm going to rename this. It's going to be AR Point Cloud Manager. And also the type is going to be the AR Cloud Point Manager. Perfect. And let's see why is this complaining. It's because I name it in reverse. All right, so I think that's all we need to do here. Except when we go down here, this is now not going to be a, an AR plane. This is going to be an AR Point Cloud. And we just basically just need to refactor this. It's going to be point cloud. Because now the trackables are going to be of that type. So what this is doing is basically disabling the, the point cloud manager and also making sure that if we have any point clouds detected already, then we disable those as well. OK, so I think I have everything. And then lastly, if we need to use feature points to basically do a raycast, we can use playing within polygon on the trackable type when we're doing the raycast because that's all only going to be for plane. So we need to change this to feature points. And then that's honestly everything that, oops, let me go back. That's everything that we need to do in, in this video to make this work. So now what I need to do, let's go back into Unity. And then we're going to have to replace the, the component that I already have associated. So I'm just going to add a new one. It's going to be reference point with features. And I don't know if I can copy. Let me, let me try this. If I can, I'll just do it again. Yeah, it looks like I can. So I need to go ahead and, and reassociate everything with the new script. It's going to be this one, the reference point cloud. It's going to be the one that I just added here. Oh, this is going to be basically, let me see what that is. It's going to be the count. So I just add the count there, the toggle button, we have the toggle button, and then the button to clear the reference points. Now we can remove the old one. And we do need the manager because that's going to be required. And this is going to be the object that we want to place with the manager. The Raycast, we still need it. We don't need the AR Plane Manager. So just let me just give you an overview of what's happening right now. So 
we have a new scene that is going to allow us to capture and basically set brief apps at locations where we're where, where are where are detected by using the AR point cloud manager. So the this AR point cloud manager, what's going to happen is there's going to be the plus symbols that you saw in the video are going to start detecting different features in the in the in the real world. And then when those features get detected, there's going to be a point cloud that gets generated at a specific location. So those locations are going to be the locations that we're going to use to place these objects. So another thing that we're going to need to is we're going to need to point the basically bring in the AR cloud point in here. And I show you a video previously. Make sure you watch it on how to use the AR point cloud manager. And that's going to give you more information about it. So these are the components that we need in order to do what I just showed you on the video here. And it's going to be this video. So you can see that, you know, I have, for instance, right now, I have some spheres that are closer to me. Some of them are far further away from me. So these are the point clouds that we are detecting by bringing in this component right here. Then what's happening is the reference point manager is saying, okay, can you find all the different feature points that are in the scene? And then if you find them and the user touches on one of them, I'm going to place a sphere at that, pos at that position. So that's what this is doing. And let me go ahead and save this scene. I'm going to go into my build settings and also add it to my build settings because I'm going to be, oh yeah, there we go. So we can just keep it right there. So this is going to be the new scene. So now let's say that we wanted to do what I did on the other video where I, I'm no longer using the feature points, but I'm using a specific distance from the camera to place the spheres. So if I go here and hit play, you can see that I'm in, and basically what AR kit is doing is keeping track of those spheres. Because if I rotate, you can see that they are still in place. They're still keeping their position. So they are being set as trackable and the system is tracking them. Okay, so now that we have this scene, let's go ahead and create the other scene. So I'm gonna go into the my scenes here and we're gonna clone this one as well, but we're gonna name it something different. We can just say with camera distance. And we're also going to be adding this to the build settings. So if you want to test it, it's going to be on the very bottom. OK, so now what I need here is I don't need an AR point cloud manager, but we're going to have to change the script that I have here. But I don't want to modify this one as well because I want you guys to use it. So I'm going to clone it. And then we can just say, like I said before, with camera distance. And these are just different tests that I've been doing because I'm developing a new app. So I'm learning things and I just want to show you guys, you know, how to do those things as I learn. And then in this case, I don't need an AR point cloud manager as a dependency. So I'm just going to remove that dependency. And then I'm also going to be removing this component here. I don't need the AR point cloud manager anymore. And all I'm going to need is the AR reference point manager. We do need the Raycast because we're going to be creating those reference points. And I think that's everything. We don't need to toggle anything because we're not going to be generating points. And also, we don't need to clear. Well, we do need to clear reference points if we want to, but we don't need to basically toggle plane detection. And I just noticed I needed to rename something that I didn't rename. So this is going to be toggle. Let's just call it toggle detection on this other one. So it's going to do that. And I think that just gets called from the unclick. Yeah. All right, so now that we're good there, we we don't need to do any of this anymore in the new camera distance because we're not going to be doing a raycast. I do need to bring in two different scripts, two different lines of code that I that I have, and I'm going to show you what those do in a minute. Okay, so that it's good. We don't need plane detection, and we also need a reference to the AR camera. So I'm just going to bring it bring it in, and just say camera, and then AR camera. And I need to basically serialize it so that we can expose it. And OK. And I don't need to do a raycast, like I said, because we're going to be placing them at a specific location far from the camera. From the camera. OK. And I think I have everything. We don't need to store the hits either. OK. So I think I have everything that I need. All right. So how, how is this going to work and how is this going to help you? And let me just clean this up. To okay, so there's a lot of instances where you don't necessarily need to use plane detection or the cloud point manager to to detect where you want to place a specific prefabs. 
In this case, I just want to place something in front of the camera far away at a specific distance. So, so that's what I'm doing here. I want to create a reference point that gets placed at a distance from the camera. So this position right here is going to give me the world position based on the touch. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying, okay, give me the touch at X, the touch at Y, and then place this prefab. Actually, give me the location that is, you know, that, that is a, this is a specific distance from the camera, which is going to be a 0 0.3. So it's going to say, okay, the camera position is going to be at X, Y, and then the Z value, it's going to be at point Z. It's actually going to be a third of a meter. Once I have the new position, it's going to basically add a new reference point. Uh, and it's going to do a new pose at the new position that I gave it. And then with the, the rotation is going to be just quaternion that identity. So that's why it's going to allow you to do something that I just show you, something like this. And this is really helpful for many reasons, because like I said, you don't really necessarily need to create a track something specifically that the, that the AR tracker is going to give you. Instead, you just want to tell the system, OK, I want to place it at a specific location. Just give me that location and then create a new reference point. So let me just, actually, we don't need to store that. We don't need to get a variable there. And I think that's everything Everything that I need here. And we don't need the subsystem anymore. And I think I'm speaking too fast. That's why I'm losing my breath. And OK, so now what I'm going to do is we need to go back into my air session origin. I'm going to remove this component. We don't need this component either. We do need the AR reference point manager, but we don't need the Raycast, the Raycast manager. Let me make sure that I remove the dependency. Yep, we need to remove it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it as a component. And we can just say reference point manager with camera. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my debug.log, my reference point count, my clear button. We don't need a toggle button, so we can just remove that. And the last component that I need is the actual camera because we need to know where the camera is so that we can place the object right in front of it. And that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And make sure that you watch the previous videos on Air Foundation so that you can understand what I, what I just went through. And again, if you have questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you on reference points with feature points, let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.